Redox reactions are all around us. The highly energetic molecules produced in our body, for instance, are mediated by redox reactions. Combustion reactions are also redox reactions. Another vivid example of a redox reaction can be found in fireworks. Fireworks often work in two steps. In the first step, heat and oxygen molecules are being produced. This can be accomplished, for instance, with sodium nitrate. It is an oxidizing agent that, upon heating, produces sodium nitrite and oxygen molecules while emitting yellow light. The oxygen and heat produced in this step can then be used by a reducing agent, for instance, sulfur, which reacts explosively to form sodium dioxide. Now, the second step is used in fireworks to give fireworks their explosive effect. Redox reactions consist of two parts. There is an oxidation step in which a reducing agent becomes oxidized, and there is a reduction step in which a oxidizing agent becomes reduced. So we can write every redox reaction in terms of two parts, a oxidation half reaction and a reduction half reaction. Now let us look at the combustion of methane once again. This is a redox reaction in which methane is reacting with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. In this process, the methane molecule acts as a reducing agent. Methane becomes oxidized. We know that because the oxidation state of the carbon atom is changing from minus 4 to plus 4. In this process, it has lost 8 electrons. Now, in the half reaction, the oxidation half reaction, we can explicitly write those 8 electrons as a product on the product side of the equation. Now note that at this particular stage, this half reaction is not yet balanced. For instance, the number of hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms is not balanced. Also, the charges are not balanced. This half reaction just shows that eight electrons are being generated in this half reaction. Let us move to the reduction half reaction. The oxidizing agent is oxygen, which is being reduced because the oxidation state changes from zero to minus two for each oxygen atom. There's a total of four oxygen atoms involved in this process, which means four times minus two equals eight electrons that are being consumed in this step. We can write those eight electrons explicitly in the equation as a reactant. Again, this half reaction is not yet completely balanced. But these two half reactions do show that Electrons can be written explicitly as reactants or products, depending on whether electrons are being gained or lost. Let us look at this particular equation. It is a redox reaction of chlorine with iron 2 plus ions. This reaction is not balanced at this point. Let us try to balance this reaction with the help of half reactions. Now, the first step in doing so is to assign the oxidation states of each of the elements in this equation. On the reactant side, we see chlorine molecules. They are in their elemental form, which means the oxidation state of chlorine is zero. The oxidation state of iron 2 plus is plus two. On the product side, we see chlorine ions. They have an oxidation state of minus one. And the oxidation state of iron 3 plus is plus three. The next step is to determine where the electrons are being transferred in this process. We see that the chlorine atoms are gaining an electron each. And we see that the iron ion is losing an electron. This means that the chlorine is being reduced and the iron ion being oxidized. Knowing this, we can write down the oxidation and reduction half reactions. In the reduction half reaction, chlorine is being reduced. Each chlorine atom is gaining one electron. There is a total of two chlorine atoms, which means a total of two electrons are being consumed. And we can write those two electrons as a reactant in this half reaction. Now, 
Let us now check whether this half reaction is balanced or not. We see two chlorine atoms on each side. We also see that the charges are balanced at this point, two negative charges on each side of the equation. That means this half reaction is now balanced. We'll move on to the oxidation half reaction. In this step, the iron ion is losing an electron. And we can explicitly write that electron on the product side of the equation. Let us check if this reaction is balanced at this point. We see on both sides that there is one iron atom. The charges are also balanced. Two plus on the reactant side and a total of two plus on the product side. Plus three minus one equals plus two. So both of the half reactions are now balanced. However, they are not balanced relative to one another. In the oxidation half reaction, one electron is being produced. However, the reduction half reaction needs two electrons. In order to make them balanced relative to one another, we can multiply the oxidation half reaction by two. Now, two electrons are being produced, which are then being consumed in the reduction half reaction. So at this particular stage, both half reactions are being balanced chemically in terms of their charges and relative to one another. We can now add up both the reduction and the oxidation step. And in doing so, what should happen is that the electrons on the left and on the right are canceling out. And that is indeed the case. Adding up the two reactions, we find that the overall balanced redox reaction is as follows. One chlorine molecule reacting with two iron two plus ions to produce two chlorine minus ions and two iron three plus ions.